We are at the Dream Courts in Hayward today. We are here at the Hanukkah Hoops event that's promoting play for... Play for peace or peace through play. Peace through play and I'm about to interview Ira and he has a great product to tell us about. Ira, thank you for allowing me to spend this time interviewing you. Oh, you're welcome. Jenny Lynn? Is that yeah, that's, that's right. Okay, I'm That's sorry. correct. Okay, I'm sorry. But I would live with any name you give me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Jenny Lynn, so we're uh, the first uh, official sponsors for the Hanukkah Hoops this year. And uh, our product is a meal supplement or a meal replacement and or a protein supplement. And uh, so we were handing out samples today uh, for all those young people that were involved uh, in the process here today and uh, some of the adults that need a little help. And uh, so we, that's pretty much what we do. Uh, uh, our product is, uh, we launched it a couple of years ago. We've got a lot of play now. We're bringing a lot of uh, people into the business and uh, promoting it. And we have a thing called the 90 Day Challenge, which we promote, uh, which lets people you know, take a challenge, promise themselves something at the end of 90 days, and hopefully we'll get there. Be it weight loss, a basketball game, running, whatever it is that they want to do. So we've heard, I've tasted the product, and I can't, it's very good, actually. Normally those products have a aftertaste that's not always pleasant. Yeah. However, this one doesn't. So tell us some more about the product. Well, it actually is the best tasting supplement on the market, as far as I'm concerned, and I've tasted most of them. So uh, that was the thing that really got me. Um, beyond that, uh, it has less than a gram of uh, sugar. Uh, all the carbs are fiber. And uh, so it's uh, uh, very successful in terms of uh, what somebody would use or want to use uh, as a weight loss product uh, with one or two meal replacements a day and or a supplement for those people that are already active, that are already in shape and want to retain muscle mass. Uh, they would use it uh, after a workout. What part did you play in making this product, if any? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so who actually, man, you, are you just doing the sales and the promotion yes. of it? Visalis is a company that's based here in the United States. Uh, we're expanding, we'll be expanding worldwide uh, over the next couple of years. I'm actually a uh, uh, promotions person and a, and a distributor for the product, but uh, uh, Randy had asked me to come up and asked me if we would be a sponsor and I told him yes I'd be happy to do that so uh, we did well great I'm glad you're here and you I saw a lot of young people leaving with it today there are lots of products like this on the market why is yours the exceptional and best product well actually we're one of the best tasting products we have uh, you know the least amount of sugar um, and uh, because the carbs are uh, more fiber-based and stuff, it's actually healthier for you. Uh, there are a lot of products, but we have comparisons between ours and other products. And we also, you know, we do manufacture uh, and distribute uh, a product called Pro, which is a, uh, goes into a water for a workout. You just take that. It's a prolonged uh, uh, stimulant. Well, stimulant. It's not really a stimulant, but it actually kind of peps you up so that you can uh, naturally, of course, with... Uh, uh, with uh, natural products and stuff for a workout. We have another product that kind of uh, works on your uh, uh, neurons in your brain to kind of get the morning fog away and uh, we have other nutritional supplements but our main thrust is uh, Visalis uh, as the uh, weight loss supplement uh, uh, product and uh, drink. I spoke with someone earlier and they were telling me that this product works for both people who want to lose weight as well as people who want to gain weight. Am I correct? Uh, if you wanted to gain weight, you'd probably eat more, uh, or you could, you know, or you could uh, use it again as a, a, a supplement to, to supplement your meals and stuff. But it's really not a high caloric supplement. It actually is about a. It's 90 calories in water, 130 calories in almond milk, 170 calories in skim milk. So it doesn't have a lot of uh, calories. I mean, basically, it's a mathematical formula where you take. Uh, you know, if you're going to go out and eat a meal, you're going to, you know, eat five or six, seven hundred calories. If you do this, it's 170. So that's uh, pretty much the way it works. It also saves money because the supplements themselves or the, the powder, the shake, uh, is uh, $50 for 30 meals. And if you go out to lunch or breakfast, 
you'll spend twice that. So actually, so we promote it by saying that people can uh, save money uh, while losing weight and uh, getting rid of excess fat. And it is high in protein, right? Yes, uh, it actually has, well it has 12 grams of protein in and of itself and if you combine it with skim milk or some of the other products uh, that are out there, it can go from 18 to 20, 24 grams of protein per shake. Well, it sounds like the dream product, huh? Well, I, you know, I don't know about dream, but it's, uh, it certainly works, uh, it, it certainly works uh, for me and uh, those people around me that I that I've certainly have tried it with. I didn't do it without checking it out myself. And my wife, who is an oncologist, uh, actually weighs, uh, she's probably your size, and I think she weighed 114 pounds when she started. And I just gave her the, a couple of ounces at the end when I was making my drink, and then I think a month she lost 11 pounds herself, so she's down to 104. You know, so that I mean, and she didn't, and she wasn't trying to lose weight. I only lost eight pounds my first month, but she somehow lost more than me. I don't know how that happened. I better stay away from it because I don't want to lose weight. That's yeah. You don't look like you need to lose any weight. <laughs> so then I guess this product is not for everyone, just for people wanting to lose weight and become healthy. Right. I mean, you can always use it to be healthy. Uh, you know, there's nothing to keep you away from a good protein shake, uh, no matter what size you are. But um, Do you have to use this product in conjunction with exercise or not necessary? You don't have to, but it's always a good idea to exercise. You know, if you're, you know uh, in today's world, you know, if you want to stay uh, fit and younger uh, looking and feeling younger and stuff, you have to, uh, you know, uh, dedicate yourself to a regimen of uh, fitness and exercise. Well, thank you so much. I hope that we covered everything you want us to cover on the product. And if I haven't asked a question um, that allowed you to tell us something we need to know, please tell me what that is. No, we're okay. We covered it pretty much. At my skill set, I think that was good enough. Well, thank you so much for your time. And if you see this article, is there a website where people can go to get this product? Yeah, it's uh, um, visalis.com, V I S. A-L-U-S dot com is the master website uh, to find this product. And thank you, Ira. This was great. I am, I'm glad that there's a product that people can use to help them with their weight loss that tastes pleasant. So thank you again for your You're time. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. We are continuing our interviews at the Hanukkah Hoops in Hayward at the Dream Courts. And I am speaking now with Lee, who, as you can see, is. Uh... <laughs> he is. Uh, I've been referred to a lot of things, and sometimes it is he is. Uh... Well, Lee is or was an American gladiator. That's correct. I was Hawk of the American Gladiators back in uh, in the mid '90s, and uh, I am here to support my good friend Randy Gordon, who is uh, promoting and has uh, has created this event called Hanukkah Hoops. And what a great event for 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 me, for you, for everyone who's involved, because it's a great season, it's a great uh, environment to be in, and uh, just to just to celebrate diversity and and sport. I think it's fantastic. What a good friend you are. You you drove all the way here from Los Angeles to support Randy? Well, yes, I did. And also, I'm here uh, because I'm working with uh, Ira Lifland, who is a distributor for Visalis. We are promoting the 90-day challenge uh, of a great nutrition supplement. And uh, we're excited about our product. This is a great demographic for us um, to kind of promote our product. Uh, but also, it's a great event to be, to be part of uh, in this time of year in the spirit of giving. And have you been taking Visalis for a long time? I have been taking Visalis uh, not not for that long, but in the time, the short time that I've been taking it, I, I love it. I mean, I've been a supplement taker for years and years and years. And one of the things that I've and and I'm one of those people who still take stuff even but even though it tastes awful. Uh, but Visalis is is as good a product as I've ever tried. But it tastes fantastic, which is the the, the key to anybody is that you'll get a great tasting product, uh, great protein. Uh, at a reasonable price and you can uh, get in a little bit better shape. Well, most people when they're selling products will go on and on about how wonderful it is and how great it is and how good it tastes. I have to agree with you. I have tasted it and I really couldn't tell there was something in the orange juice apart from bananas because for me that was the dominant flavor. So it does go down very well. Um, I noticed your arms are those as a result of your consumption of Visalis. Well, that comes from a lot of hard work and, and exercise, but uh, any kind of 
uh, exercise routine or what you know. And I'm not I'm not the youngest cat in the drawer anymore, or the youngest uh, knife knife in the stable. I'm mixing metaphors here for you, but uh, to stay in shape and to to continue to train like I do at my age, um, you got to have proper nutrition, and Vicalis is a very important part of that. Well, I have never taken it apart from tasting it today, and I got the impression from my earlier interview with Ira that I may not be a candidate for this product since I have no weight to lose, but I have a lot of friends that I'm going to be telling about it. And so apart from the Vaisalis, you were a gladiator. What else do you want to share with our viewers to encourage them to stay in shape? Uh, just whatever you're doing is make sure that you do uh, three things. You need to exercise, uh, but don't go crazy. You know, pick a pick a, an activity or whether it's walking or running or weightlifting or playing tennis or basketball or something that you can do uh, that you enjoy. Uh, then you got to set proper expectations. So don't try to think that you're going to look um, be a, a perfect figure like you've got or a meathead like I've become. Uh, but that you know, you set proper expectations, and the last thing uh, is just have proper nutrition, and that's where a product like Visalis comes in. Is it? It gives you the proper tools to replace the things that you're breaking down when you exercise, so that you can recover and uh, and get back at it the next day. Well, I have gotten up every single morning of this month and gone into my freezing cold garage and done my Pilates. Yeah, that's the kind of discipline I have. And it, it shows because you have a fantastic figure. <laughs> well, thank you. I enjoy I enjoy exercising because it's... You smell good. <laughs> you sure you want this interview to end? There was a running joke before. She said, tell, tell me if I smell bad because everybody, when I interview them, seems to be, seems to be break, breaking away. You smell... <laughs> Wonderful. I love my job. <laughs> cool. And we're out. Thank you so much, Lee. I hope that I hope that you guys are gonna be selling a lot of the product in this area. A it's a good product. Have fun. Yay us. We are promote we're continuing to promote our interviews uh, for promoting peace through play and my friend Randy here and I we have to keep we have to stop meeting like this well I don't think so I think uh, you know you're always great about turning out and supporting the events that that we try to do for uh, other people and in this case we are trying to promote uh, peace through play and do a lot to actually raise some money for Roots of Peace and Jewish Family Children's Services of the East Bay and Performing Stars of Marin. So thank you for coming out because they're all great organizations. Uh, they're all very press worthy. Of course you know I was kidding. I am happy to be here and to help you uh, to promote this. I am really happy to be a part of something that I know is a new trend and just like everything when it's first getting started you know, it takes a while before people catch on. So have, hopefully after these interviews, when people see how much fun we're having here, you'll have a lot better turnout as we continue with the evening. Well, you know, and I'm happy with pretty much like who we had here. We had uh, earlier, we pretty much had um, the first five on five tournament ever, uh, tournament game ever, black against the gray, and uh, the gray team won. And uh, we actually had a really good uh, halftime, half court shootout. And at the end of the game, we had a trick shot uh, competition. So um, there were a lot of really good things that are happening. And it's re really all the build towards uh, next year and what happens uh, in 2012, on December 12, 2012, uh, hopefully in at least 12 markets around the country. I hope so too. And I think that all you need to do is share with people what you've done here today, how people have reacted to it. And I know this is something that other people are going to want to do. I, I think so. I mean, I encourage everybody to go check out HanukkahHoops.com and uh, really kind of look into uh, some of the some of the history of uh, Jewish people in basketball, whether it's playing or managing or building venues. But really, this is for um, all religions. And so, you know, black, white, green, it doesn't matter. It's uh, pretty much if you like basketball and you want to help uh, further promote a global sport like basketball and, uh, and, and really be a part of a movement, then uh, Hanukkah Hoops is a great place to start. I agree. And you don't only have to play, not only the NBA is about basketball, right? Uh, not only that, 
uh, not only the NBA. I mean, I think it's I think it's a good sign actually that um, that there will be some sort of a season, and that season is going to start on Christmas Day. Um, I'm happy that uh, Hanukkah arrived uh, a little bit late, but yet still before Christmas because um, you know earlier today uh, there was a Golden State Warriors holiday camp that was going on at the same time as Hanukkah hoops, and that just kind of shows you that whether it's professional or amateur or you just like to shoot around, um, you pretty much can find it all here. And I think Dream Courts here in Hayward is a phenomenal venue uh, for an event like this. I love the theme you picked. It's promoting peace through play. I mean, when you think about that whole concept, we, the world that we live in now, I mean, economically and everything, it's, it's so chaotic sometimes. And when you can try to bring this to the world at a time like this, I think it's great. I really wish more people would, you know, participate and share in this promoting peace through play. What, what better place to have peace than while you're playing and, and enjoying a good game? Well, and I, and I agree with you, and that's kind of why we're promoting that kind of a theme. It's not just about basketball, it's not about just five on five, and it's not about, you know, free throw competitions. It's really more about um, how playing basketball, how you can make friends through playing basketball, and how you can meet people from other cultures and have, um, you know, a sport like this be like the one common denominator that pulls people together. You know, the overall concept of Hanukkah Hoops was pretty much, you know, all religions welcome, and uh, the hope was to be able to find you know a team of uh, of non-jewish players and pretty much have them have their Jewish friend enter them into the comp uh, into the competition so um, I, I just kind of felt like I've made so many friends through playing basketball you know and people that you just kind of like walk up on the court and you don't really know them and after you've been running around with them for two or three hours you kind of have a sense a little bit of like who they are and how they react and I think that that's all good and to fi have a, a great venue like this um, and having a lot of that be able to uh, come together, have people be able to, uh, you know, participate and learn more about the religion, but also learn more about what we're doing movement-wise, um, I think it's great. I love the fact that you embrace other religions, and this is not just for Jewish people, because I think at the end of the day, God is supposed to be the same God, irregardless of what umbrella you choose to put him under. So what a great way to play and also to celebrate whatever the philosophy is that you share. Are you planning in the future to always do, um, to have the event here? Or are you going to be considering other venues for the future? Well, I think the event is definitely meant to be shared with uh, the United States and, and the world. Um, I think we always want to go where we can find, uh, you know, just the, the best sense of um, competition and camaraderie. Um, I think Dream Course is a, is a special place and I'm very happy that they uh, uh, were able to host us here in Hayward, California. And um, you know, it's, it's centrally located, so in order to try to get as many teams as possible next year, I mean, I kind of want to reach out to find out like what's going to be um, the, the most central venue, easy for someone to get to, so there's no distinct you know, home court advantage. But uh, you know, if Dream Course wants to have us back, we'll be uh, happy to be in the same building uh, this time next year, but on 12-12-12. Uh, so on December 12th, 2012, it's the fourth night of Hanukkah, and that's when we plan on getting everything rolling leading up to 12-12-12. Please put this on your calendars and make sure it flashes in neon, because you do not want to forget that date, 12-12-12. You have to come down and be a part of this. Uh, historical event where people are playing um, and promoting camaraderie through play. So Randy, I think it was great. You've done this all on your own, of course with your friends, but I think it's a great seed that you've planted and I hope by next year you have a big booming tree that is going to blossom from this idea. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And thank you guys for uh, coming out and giving us some, some support to help, uh, help us let everybody know um, what's happening and what to look for on Hanukkah Hoops. Well, we are always in support of anything that is good, and this is a great idea. So thank you for making us a part of it. Thank you. And we'll be around, don't worry. We're not going anywhere. Excellent. Se several more people to interview besides, besides just the founder. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. And I'm excited about this, and I know that it's going to grow and it's going to spread. Thank you, Jenny Lynn. Thank you.
<laughs> Look at him. He's evidence of how much fun people are having here at this great basketball event. Yes, we're having lots of fun. Uh, we're making it happen on the basketball court for a good cause. We, we're glad you're here, and we want the world to know that Hanukkah Hoops is coming to your town. Watch out. Be there. Don't be square. Did you hear him? Don't be square. <laughs> Just be here. So you played tonight, did you? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I kind of messed around a little bit. I don't know if you call it play, but uh, I, I had a little fun. We worked on some dunks, and you know, I just want to let you know that you're never too old or too young to do your thing. I agree with you. I don't know why everybody <laughs> keeps speaking about age. What is age all about? I don't know. I never heard that word before in my life. It's a number. Why do people put so much age. energy into it? We love the present. We are in the now. Age is a number, so don't let that stop you ever. It's one of the biggest demotivators. People decide that they're a certain number and they need to act a certain way. You just need to change that. And you need to get as much mileage as you can out of your bodies and your minds and your soul. I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree. Fellas, agree, right? So what are your plans for the rest of this evening? Are you leading a team? Are you just oh. playing on a team? The rest of the evening is all about giving. I'm giving some toys to Kids on the Move America, which is a nonprofit organization in Alameda County. Uh, we had a toy drive, and so I, I produce shows. I produce shows for um, good causes, like Models for a Cause, Entertainment for a Cause. We produce shows to help those that are less fortunate. So tonight, I'm giving back. My website is charlestonpierce.com, and we're all about inspiring, giving back, and blessing the Bay Area. The Bay Area, it's all about the Bay Area. It's about your TV show, my future TV show, I hope, you know, making it happen. Oh, you will make it happen. Like most things in life, you have to make them happen. We're going to make it happen together, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I've been getting so many hugs today. I think I'm going to be taking them all Because you got that off. red on. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> so you, are, um, you have your own toy drive? Yeah, we had our own toy drive. Um, it's a given season, and it was my first one. It was a lot of fun. We got tons of toys. The kids are going to be happy. I'm from a family of 14. Um, I didn't have a lot of toys. Yeah. And grew up in Bayview Hunters Point. In the hood. And, uh, you know, I made it out. So the fact that I'm successful now, what is success? Being happy. I'm free. <laughs> I want to get back to the community, get back to the kids, and just have fun. What keeps me young is people. Getting inspired, giving back to the, to the community, giving back to those in need. It's not about color. It's not about shape. It's all about the present. Love. L-O-V-E. What you got? I completely agree with you. So where did you get the toys and when are you planning to hand them out? We're planning to hand them out tonight. We got the toys from people from all over the Bay Area. People came out last week to my toy drive. And like I said, you know, ask, it should be given. You got to ask people sometimes for what you want. You don't know where it's going to come from, but you got to ask. Help us! We want millions and millions of dollars! I don't know what he's on, but I want some of it. <laughs> I'm on life, man. You know, like, once you realize that your life counts, and that you know you don't have to be nobody but yourself and you start loving yourself that's when it starts completely agree with you well i was involved with a toy drive this this uh, weekend the mountain view police uh, collected so many toys nice. that when i actually walked in the building where i was doing the interviews i felt like i was in a toy store <laughs> and i was really touched because they made sure that every single child and every family got a toy Beautiful. and they allowed the children to pick the toy of their choice nice. is your toy drive um for the residents of where you live only or for anybody anywhere uh, anybody anywhere anybody anywhere how are people finding out about it for example where are you handing it out what's the venue what's the address so when we, we publicize what we're doing we publicize on Facebook oh. we love Facebook and so we told folks and folks came and basically I'm gonna give the toys to once again uh, kids on the move America which has an organization nonprofit organization that teaches kids to inspire to be whatever they want but they bring mentors in to help them with their plan you gotta have a plan you gotta have you gotta have mentors and coaches so they have a organization where they have coaches to come and talk to the kids to help them on their career path it is so confusing especially now they got so many options they need coaches I'm a coach and I need a coach. We all need somebody to help us to stay focused. So the, the toys are going to Kids on the Move America. They're going to distribute it to their kids. But this is the first one. I want to do it bigger next year. I like what you was doing, the police department, the fire department. Everybody gave. It'd be a better world.
Great. Well, thank you so much. I'm, and I thank you on behalf of all the children and the parents that are going to be receiving the toys that are going to be distributed through your drive. What's the name of your toy drive? Uh, well, I really didn't have a name. I just said Charleston Pierce presents my name, and I'm having a toy drive and come. So uh, I don't have any kind of organization. It was just a random act of kindness. So we have the toys, but in the future, check out my website, and I'll probably have it posted at charlestonpierce.com. And I'm so honored to be on your show. Thank you so much. I hope I can come back again. You are more than welcome. Anyone who is giving to the community and giving of themselves to make other people happy is welcome on my show. And I also want to give a shout out to Randy and everybody that was a part of this uh, production today. Uh, it was great turnout, great kids, and Hanukkah hoops. You rock! <laughs> yes, you do. Thank you. God bless. Bay Area! Well, thank you so much. This was a great interview. And like Charleston said, anybody can collect and give to people in need. It's not a color thing. It's not a religion. It's just about putting a smile on someone's face, yes. which in the end always results in blessings for you. Amen. So be blessed and have a great Christmas. And thank you so much. Happy holidays to you. We continue to promote peace through play, and I'm about to interview Steve. Steve, thank you so much for allowing me to do this. Oh, thank you too. And Steve, how are you involved in this whole, uh, and uh, what's happening here tonight? Well, I've been uh, a basketball player for a couple of days, about 45 years now. And uh, you get to a point in life where you're really not competitive, you know, and you just want to have a good time. And to support a support an organization like Hanukkah Hoops at its inception is, is a great opportunity. Um, at my age, you generally get relegated to uh, uh, charity golf tournaments. And frankly, there isn't, there isn't, uh, it's not the same. And so to be able to, uh, on one hand, support a, support a startup charity and to uh, give, give a little bit back to the community and enjoy the camaraderie that used to be part of uh, my daily life that I don't, can't do anymore. So. I have to address the age thing. Everyone I've spoken to is talking about at my age. And somehow it seems to have some negative connotations. I look at you, you look like you're about 26. Well, thank you. Um, and it's and it's no, and it's not age. It's not age. It's a, it's about having the time. And we work full time. And we raise our kids, and we work in the community, and we spend our spend two hours a day in the car, getting back and forth to work, and we chase things more important, uh, or at least we think, um, than uh, than taking care of our bodies. And no, ab absolutely. If I if I was still well, no, the knees wouldn't hold up. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but you're but you're absolutely right. It's not it's not age. It's it's just you know what deciding what's important and so here's a chance for here's a chance for us to uh, as weekend warriors to uh, get out with our buddies and form a team and know that the money's going to a good cause and uh, and get our butts kicked and have a good time doing it I agree with you and what I love about this whole concept it's although it's a Hanukkah Hanukkah event this is not just exclusive to Jewish people or people who share that philosophy but anybody who wants to play basketball I think it's a great way to unite people while you're having fun um, I don't know if it's, it's it's necessarily competitive is it? No, it's uh, there's there's a level for everybody, and so that you can come down here and watch some extraordinary uh, basketball getting played, um, and then you've got the the 40 to 59 bracket, uh, which I'm. What am I going to do when I get out of the 59 bracket? I'm going to have to talk to Randy about starting an over 60 bracket, um, but <laughs> which might just be me and a couple of my friends from my Saturday morning game. Um, but uh, no, it's absolutely, absolutely right. This is for all levels. Uh, it's about coming out as a community and as a, as a group actually making an impact on a cause. I am really happy to see how many people have turned out because it's a new concept. It's a new event. And how do you see this um, progressing in the future? Well, there's a variety of pickup basketball games around uh, around every city and community. Uh, lots of them are centered around YMCA's, around Jewish community centers. Um, there's recreational basketball leagues, and as this word gets spread out, these teams, when those seasons are over or in the in the winter hiatus, are going to have an opportunity to stick together as a group. And again, as a team, as a, a, a be able to. A, have that have that registration fee go to go to a community organization. I sponsored. Uh, I've been a, an employee.
employer in the Bay Area for decades, and I've you know, sponsored everything from bowling teams to basketball teams, and sponsored golf tournaments, and and those things are uh, those things are kind of one and done kind of uh, kind of things, or they're small. Um, and uh, basketball, because it's something that we we love as players, we come back. We come back, and you can see. Yeah, I can see this building as teams coming back and say, "Hey, that that Hanukkah hoops tournament was great. We got to see some some outstanding college players. We got to see some some really incredible uh, high school kids dunk and all that good stuff. Um, and we got to uh, play three games and go home really tired." That's great because, like you said, people spend so many hours in their cars. I traveled to China some years, a couple years ago, and as I walked around, I noticed very few obese people. And I was wondering what their secret was. And I think a lot of it has to do with what they eat. But I think that in a culture where when we go out to eat, we get served such large portions. The other reason I think why we have obesity in the United States is because people spend the majority of their days driving to and from work. So I completely agree. We just need, all of us need to get more involved in physical activity. Well, that's absolutely right. As I said, I run a, I run a small uh, alternative investment company right now, and the little crew of four can see me coming, and they know what they have to do. We have a, we have a practice um, where you have to put your hands over your head. So think about it as you go through your day, at working at your desk and your keyboard, have you ever reached up in the air? No, and all of this neck pain and shoulder and all this back stuff comes from we don't use our bodies. We, we weren't created to sit behind a desk and the, the heaviest thing we move is a mouse. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, we, you know, we were we were created to hunt and gather and and do things outdoors and and be part of be part of the the world that we live in. And so my little, like I said, my little group of people um, are constantly being bugged to. Okay, everybody, stand up. All right, everybody, walk around. Yeah, so, um, because I I you know I worry about them. I worry about these kids that work for me now. So. What type of a company do you own? Uh, we run. Uh, we do alternative uh, finance investments, uh, uh, distressed debt, um, and uh, mostly mostly things in the uh, in the collection world. Okay, well, I agree with you. I think that along with all the new inventions, there's a degree of laziness, maybe not by choice. But because we spend so much time on computers, we are slowly removing the physical activity from our daily lives if we have an office job. So it's very important that we take the time to do the exercise and keep our bodies and our minds fit. Absolutely. Very, very well said. So thank you so much for allowing me to, to, to interview you and to hear, about, hear your story and to find out how you are going to help us promote peace through play. We'll see you next year, right? Right, same time, same place, right? Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you. Bye-bye. We are promoting Peace Through Play in Teresa's house. Teresa, thank you for having us as guests in your home. Thank you for coming. Well, I'm very happy to be here. So I understand that you and your husband built these dream courts. Yes, we did. Wow, where did the idea come from? What was behind, uh, you know, starting it and then completing it to where we can actually play basketball here tonight? Um, it came from the need for the Bay Area to have a place for families to be healthy. Um, we work with kids from two years old to um, all the way to the elderly, and we work with uh, um, rec ball kids and teaching them how to play uh, different sports, uh, all the way to professional athletes work out here. Wow, that's very impressive. So how long did it take you guys to build it? Uh, it took us, the building was here, it took us about three months to build out the inside of the first phase, which is seven courts, and there's ten more in the second phase. Uh, third phase has soccer fields, batting cages, a track, more weight rooms, water training, um, and, and it'll be about 21 sports. Wow, so how long have you been open to the public? Since March. March of this year? Well, I feel very privileged to be here at such a new um, court where there's obviously so much love put into the construction of it. Yes, thank you. I feel that it, we have so many young people in our streets that are getting involved in things that aren't so good, you know, criminal activity. This is a great way to keep some of them off. Do you agree? I do, and we're also adding an educational center uh, where, where youth can get homework help. Um, and we'll have tutors in there and so they can keep their grades up so it's 
it's double hard to be a student athlete, and so we're addressing that as well. Are you a parent? Are you and your husband parents? Yeah, we have four. Oh, no wonder. Well, I really admire people like you who are not only thinking about your own kids, but other kids as well. I come from the same trend of uh, thought or thinking as you because I believe if the world is not just about me and my children. We still have to live in the world, and so we need to keep it safe and a happy place for everybody. Do you agree? Yes, that's right. Is that the, is that the thinking that you guys were coming from when you decided to build these dream courts? Yeah, we wanted a place where, yeah, yes, we're working on teaching to be healthy, you know, teaching that lifestyle, and that's why I say we start with young children as two years old, we're teaching them developmental sports, stretching, you know, the habit of living healthy, um, and at the same time, parents can work out, um, grandparents can work out, you can catch a league, um, it's just a different concept, um, not everybody wants to just go to a gym and run the treadmill. Uh, so we'll, we'll eventually be 24 hours. Right now we're 21, um, and we have uh, a need for it. So, and we're right in the middle of the bay where we've got uh, the three airports: um, BART, Amtrak, bus. I mean, everything's right here. So we're able to really help a lot of people. That is really neat. How do you advertise? Uh, so far, everything's been word of mouth. Really? Have you? Are you, Are you full? Uh, we're we're growing fast, yeah, and we've uh, we'll do flyers like guerrilla marketing type type efforts, you know, flyers and and but mostly word of mouth. We've got um, five charter high schools here now that use this as their home base. Uh, we have that league working in here, the CIF Charter School League uh, plays here, um, so we're helping a lot of schools that don't have gyms, um, and then the word just gets out there. It's never been anything like it here. It's wonderful. I think if every community had a family like you putting up places like this and trying to encourage people, kids to get off the streets and to come in here and build, you know, muscle and camaraderie and just get themselves healthy, we'll have less crimes on our streets, I believe. Yeah, you're right. That's exactly right. I have my own television show and I started it so that I could somehow play a part in helping to keep kids out of gangs and away from drugs. And I really see this as another type of a situation where hopefully you can get the kids off the streets and meaningfully occupied. Yes, we can do that here. Well, thank you so much. I will tell everybody I know about Dream Courts and I'm sure that the memberships are affordable. Very affordable. Okay, great. Well, it was great to speak with you, Teresa, and learn about this building and what motivated it and what's happening here. Thank you so much for your time. Have a happy holiday. Yes,